Hello, this is Matt from the Learning Technology Support Service, and I'm going to show you the mobile version of Moodle, which we'll be launching in June this year. So it works on all major mobile devices, including iOS and Android, and any other smartphone that you have which has a browser it contained within it. So to start off, I'm going to load up my browser. I'm using Safari on the iPhone, but it should be pretty similar on any device that you have. And this is the main Moodle homepage. So when you navigate to Moodle on your phone, you will see that there are kind of starting off, we have the new section. And at the moment, I can't see any courses or anything like that because I'm not logged in. So the first thing I want to do is log into the site. And there's a button at the top to do that. So when I click on login, it will ask me for my details, which I will skip past. OK, and once I'm logged in, it will then show me the home page of Moodle and all the courses that I have access to. OK, so once I've logged into Moodle, I'll have a slightly more personalized experience. What I can see from the outset is that all the middle content from Moodle is being displayed, and most of the stuff that was on the right and the left-hand side has been hidden away. Once I've logged into Moodle, I can see the news items that you would normally see in Moodle, and I can see my list of courses. If I want to browse a course that I'm not currently enrolled in, I can search for the course below. So if I look for Moodle Student Inductions, and push Go, I'll be able to see if that course exists in Moodle. And if it does, I can enroll myself on that course. So there's no enrollment key, so I'll push Enroll. OK, this is the mobile version of the course. What it's done is it actually just takes the course from normal Moodle and it just pushes it into a mobile display. So we can see the course has a quite a large graphic at the top and uh, the mobile is trying to show this. But if I scroll down, I can see that the topic areas of the course are displayed quite clearly on the mobile version of Moodle as well. So I have my first topic, which is first steps, and this is a book. So if I click on this, This will display within the course itself. And unfortunately, the book uses quite large images. But luckily, I can scroll down and I can still read any of the normal text. And I can go through the different pages of the book, just as I would as if I was browsing it on my laptop or desktop computer. If I want to go back up to the top, I can click on Up. If I want to go back to the course, I can use the back arrow on my device. Or alternatively, I can use the navigation menu which appears at the top of, of all the pages. Now I'm back at the course. What I can do is I can scroll down and look at any of the topics within the course, and also access most of the activities and resources contained within. So for example, if I want to go into the Jargon Buster, which is a glossary in Moodle, I click on that activity name and I can view it as a mobile version of exactly what's on the Moodle course. So I can see here the key terms and definitions that have been outlined for this course. I'll just return back once more to the main course. And I can see that all of the topics are displayed just as they would be on a normal desktop However, I might find that some of the links I click on probably won't render as well on my, on my mobile device as they would do on a laptop screen. For example, if I go to the UCL library, because I'm going to an external site, it's likely those things will display differently, depending on your device. If I just go back to the Moodle mobile, some of the activities are usable in the mobile view. For example, this is a feedback form. And it's only got some very simple questions. So I can answer these questions directly on my mobile phone. And I can submit this questionnaire, for example, and it will store it just as if, just the same as if I'd gone to any other normal computer and submitted this for a laptop or desktop machine. Other things you might want to do are send messages to people. So this is, if I click on messages, this sends direct instant messages to people who are on Moodle. 
So these may be people in your group or your lecturer who may or may not like you sending them private messages. We will show you more in the future, but for now this is just a sample of what's coming up. For more information, visit www.ucl.ac.uk forward slash ISD forward slash Moodle 2.